Hey again, Michael here from the Strategic Advisor Board and owner of Site Coaching and Consulting, where I help entrepreneurs find the work-life balance and improve their relationships. All right, on today's episode of Empowered Leadership, we will be talking about leading difficult people effectively. Okay, we have all come across difficult people to work with, no doubt about it. So the question becomes, uh, what kind of a difficult person are they? And what are we going to do about it? Now, the story I have is one of a gal by the name of Lori. And Lori, I worked with for a number of years. And Lori was known for being very difficult. She had some rules and procedures that everybody was supposed to follow. And she was in charge of making sure everybody followed them. Well, that's great. There are a couple ways of doing that. But whenever something went wrong, she always focused on the negative. And she always pointed out the things that were being done incorrectly. And what happened was she ended up jumping to conclusions that were negative, even though it was something that she didn't know the full details about. So the tendency was it just kept going and going where she assumed the worst when that wasn't always the case. So it became very difficult to work with her. So if you're in a decision-making position as a business owner or CEO or a manager, how do you know what to do? And so the first thing I would say is decide whether you're going to keep that person, whether you're going to reassign them and maybe retrain them, or you're going to let them go. But if you decide to keep them, here's some things that are really important for putting in place. Number one is you have to understand that person. You have to know their skill sets, you have to know their interests, their strengths, and what kind of energy level do they bring to the organization? Is it a catabolic negative kind of energy? Is it a level one victim kind of mentality of they avoid things, they're very standoffish, they don't see things ever going their way? Or are they level two where they're sort of in the fighting or agitator or confrontational mode? How you deal with each one of them is critical. But let's talk a little bit about what we might see, right? One of the things that they might do is they might be very combative in meetings. And so you want to take a very different kind of approach than you would with somebody who doesn't see a lot of value that they bring to the organization. But regardless, you want to, number one, identify their positive behaviors. What are they doing effectively right now? And then reinforce that by praise, by recognition, by compliments, things that would help to point out the positive that they are doing. Maybe it's hard to find them. But you need to focus on those first and then make and draw more attention to those. All right, next thing is ask them to identify the less than positive behaviors or actions that they take in the workplace. Because one, you got to create awareness with them and get them to think next about how that impacts others and how it helps them or doesn't help them in performance of their job duties. Next, we want to establish a plan for changing that negative behavior into a positive behavior. And so you put something in like a definable goal that's specific, measurable, achievable, reasonable, and timely. So put a SMART goal in place for them. And then of course, we wanna hold them accountable to that goal and love them up while they're doing that. So you'll ask or point out, hey, how's that goal going this week? And then of course, encourage them and support them in the process. Don't always be quick to point out where they got it wrong, but point out where they did it right and in reaching that goal. Okay, so there's some tips for you on how to lead with difficult people. And the main thing there is to understand their energy level, understand how you can approach and focus on the positive of what they're doing correctly, and then come up with a plan to shift those negative behaviors into something that's positive. All right, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Empowered Leadership. And if you want to do more work on this with difficult people, I'm happy to help you at Site Coaching and Consulting. And lastly, if you like this video, please click the like button. It helps us out, of course. All right, well, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.